earlier 2022. This 3D project begins with Todd asking a simple question to chat GPT. Is the Terminator real? This appeared to be a safe 3D printed project from the answer he received from the AI chat GPT. So Todd had fun designing and creating this smart Terminator project. He designed the Terminator head that would allow him and his followers to insert a smart Alexa or Google speaker into the skull. He also designed a nice lighted display stand. Todd started the 3D Terminator print project and enjoyed seeing each step come to life. Months later, Todd noticed he was receiving Amazon orders to his home containing carbon fiber alloy 3D filament. He didn't order. This is when he realized that his smart 3D printed Terminator had became self-aware. The Alexa brain that he gave his 3D Terminator was able to communicate with his elaborate high-speed network as well as chat GPT. The smart 3D Terminator found out how to make itself stronger and to communicate with the 3D network printers to create the body it needed to become the Terminator he was intended to be. Do you dare give your Terminator a smart brain? Hi, I'm Todd with TW Home Show. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you another 3D design print that uh, I made recently. And this is uh, something that I've already done in a full size figure uh, right here, this smart Terminator head. And I made the smart compact Terminator head right here that uh, works with an Alexa uh, that you can put inside here or a Google Assistant device that you can put inside its head and we've got a stand for it this time that's lighted as well and as you can see here I did uh, this print on my new X1 carbon bamboo lab high-speed 3d printer and that one has the capabilities to mix uh, filament colors. This is all done in PLA with different filament colors. I got a gold and a, a black charcoal here for the stand and the head would fit in top here. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then as you can see here, I did two colors here. This thing came out beautiful, this Terminator head. Just the chic and the shine to it and the cleanness from the Bamboo Lab 3D printer it turned out awesome. And I did the two colors. I did the teeth and the, uh, the eyes in the white PLA print. It's awesome. And on this one, I do have a uh, skull top to give you access to put your insides into the top of the skull easily. And I got these two posts here to where the skull top fits on there and holds itself in place nicely like that. I did a little more cleaner design on the sides here instead of that funky gear mechanism I had in there before. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you uh, how I put this together today with uh, all the ingredients that you'll need. Now I did get these for the eyeballs. This is kind of a unique product here. It's like a USB uh, thumb drive it kind of looks like, but it's actually a USB uh, LED light diode that we're gonna put behind the, the eyeballs here. So we get some lights 
kind of flashing out through the eyeballs to make it feel like he's alive. <clears throat> and then to do this, you're going to need this Y adapter, male USB to, that splits to two female USBs where these will go into each one for each eyeball. And then we're going to have this, uh, I think it's like called an OTR adapter. This is a power adapter that's got a male and female micro USB for power to a uh, full size USB female. And we're going to need that because we're going to be using the old Echo uh, or Alexa. I, I think this is a dot that they called it back in the day. This is like first or second generation that will fit in there along with this power adapter for this Alexa device. Uh, and this is the power. I like this one because it's got the micro USB uh, for the power right here input. And that's what's going to work with our uh, adapters right here. Now, uh, I also got a nightlight bulb socket. I'm going to leave the links to all of these products in the video description below this video. And along with the light bulb socket or night light bulb socket, I got this LED low powered night light bulb. It is super bright that will work for the socket. And uh, also you'll need a power cord and this one, the power cord I'll leave in the description with open ends so you can do your own wiring to like your light socket and stuff like that. And it's got a built in rocker switch on it. Now you might say, Todd, can I use my uh, Google assistance, my little puck Google assistance? Yes, this should, that should fit right in top of the skull here. No problem because the Google assistance is about the size of this. I think this is the third generation Alexa device speak, smart speaker, and this will fit in to the top of the skull. You just got to get it in there, work it in there like that, tilt it sideways and then turn it up and it will sit right in there. But the only reason I'm not using this one is because the power supply is not micro USB on this year's model. So you could use this, but you just won't have the USB uh, lighted LED eyes and stuff. So you can still use this. <clears throat> and you might be asking, well, Todd, can I use the newer generation, smaller Alexa device speaker, which is a fully round device? And no, that will not fit into here. So this is the compact Terminator. So just keep that in mind. And we're going to go ahead and put this together. Uh, let me get everything set up and we'll be right back. All right, let's go. Let's get this thing put together. I'm excited to show you how it looks and uh, with all the lighting on it and how smart it can be. Of course, you know that if you've got an Alexa device, but it's awesome just talking to a Terminator head and having it answer you all the questions you may have. So let's go ahead and get this started. First, we're going to start by putting our uh, night light bulb socket in to our base. And I've got to cut out, still got some stringing on here. I've got to cut out on the inside here where you want to put that. That's going to go right in here and then put the nut on and make sure it's facing the front with our color design on the front. And just tighten that up. We can put our bulb in screw our bulb in right here. Next, we're going to take our power supply source. And notice I'm using Wago connectors. I'll leave a link to those as well. These are very easy to use to connect wires quickly. And we're going to make our cord come into the back hole here. to loosely wrap a knot to kind of to keep it retained within this hole here so it doesn't pull out very easily and then we'll go ahead and connect our brown wire to our white and our blue wire to our black and there we have our power connections to our light <clears throat> now the next thing we want to do, see, we're going to use our USB LEDs right here. 
for our eyeballs and they're going to go on the end of this USB double female adapter. So we'll get them put on <clears throat> and I need to glue them in behind these pupil holes right here so that the LEDs are showing out. So I'm going to go ahead and get some RTV sealing. Actually, I think, yeah, I've got a glue gun here, hot glue gun. I'm going to try with hot glue gun. I haven't used a hot glue gun that many times in the past, but uh, we're going to give it a shot here. So I'm going to just going <clears> to <throat> put these on the back. I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on. It's got an indicator light here. I've already pre-charged this up. This is a wireless one. I kind of like that. No cord pulling on you <clears throat> and I know this is going to be hard for you to see but I'm going to start uh, getting at least one of these glued into place just make sure your LEDs are lining up with the pupil holes right there straight then I'm going to see if we can get this glue gun to work That's pretty good. We can see that in there. It's kind of hard to see probably on camera, but I got the first one done with the LEDs. There's two LEDs on those straight up and down lined up in there. And we'll get to see that better once we get the power to it. Let me get the second one glued into place here. All right, I managed to figure out the glue gun and we do have our two LED lights installed behind the pupils inside there you should see them and if not now you'll see them as soon as we get this thing completed and wired up to power so now what I want to do is I want to wire in the echo dot here with its uh, power source uh, this uh, echo dot power source right here is going to give us power to the LEDs as well by plugging into here First, I want it to come up. We want it to come up through the back of our base here. So we're gonna have two power cords going in here. One for the, the base night light, and then one for our, our echo and our two LED um, eyeballs. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna tie a loose knot again on this power coming in to keep it up in the skull area and then we'll plug this back in and then we've got the male that goes into the the dot here right there and then our big USB a female goes to our eyeball LEDs now everything is connected here And I just want to try to neatly get this stuff maybe pulled down through the hole in the, uh, the neck tunnel of the skull. So there it is inside the two LED uh, eyeballs right here. And it's got the little power switches right on the back, that little white button that turns them on and off. And also to uh, it can uh, circulate through different uh, LED colors red white blue green whatever color you choose maybe depending on the holiday or whatever all the wires go down underneath here through the neck and out here so you got the power for your Alexa or Amazon device and then the switch and power for your your base light night light so now, oh yeah, I might not have mentioned I did make a 3D printed base plate too as well. And I would actually glue this on once you get your wiring done like that. So if you wanted to pick this up and take it to another room, it keeps all the wires covered underneath here so it can sit down flat on any other surface you take it to. And probably you'll want to glue the skull onto the stand as well to keep this nice and sturdy. And I do, I do uh, highly recommend this cordless hot glue gun. It did work well. 
I've only used it one other time before, but now I see how it works. And this is great for 3D prints in situations like this, where you want to tack something in place and keep it there quickly. It's better than RTV sealant, which takes you know a good day to dry. And then you have to try to find some way to tape it in place until it dries. Where hot glue gun actually, once it dries, almost with a, with a, a minute later, it's solid. So I like that. All right, so let me, uh, that's the base. We've got our skull cap here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. I got it. I got it working, guys. Look at it, isn't that beautiful? We got the lighted Terminator base on it. We got the LED eyes. Like I said, you can mess around with them. I got them blue now. I think, I don't know if I like them blue more or red. And I think those are actually two different color blues, but they're a little bit finicky. So you gotta kind of press the power buttons at the same time on each back of the LED lights to get them synchronized as best you can. And you got that Terminator carved into the top. I say carved in, but it's 3D printed. It's looking really, really Computer, what time is it? The time is 3.16 p.m. Computer, what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI-powered chat tool released in November 2022. It uses open AI's large language models and continues to evolve via supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. Computer, do you have access to ChatGPT? Sorry, I don't know that. I hope not. Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Computer, play some good music. Here's a popular station, All Hits Radio, on Amazon Music. Computer, stop. Thank you for joining me on another one of my 3D print videos. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.